Hey and welcome to this week's episode. Today I'm going to be sharing the amazing transformative powers of eclipses. So chances are if you've been following along with me, with my podcast, with my YouTube channel, with my Instagram and all that, then you already know that I live by the moon cycle and that I love exploring the powers that come with each new moon and full moon. So eclipses are pretty much just amplifying that energy of the full moon and the new moon. So these can be extremely powerful portals of change to manifest those things that you really want in your life. So let's take a look at how you can harness the power of eclipses and I'll also share what's coming up with this eclipse season. So let's talk about lunar eclipses. We have a total lunar eclipse, in fact it's the only total lunar eclipse this year, coming up on the 26th of May 2021. This lunar eclipse falls in the sign of Sagittarius and it will be visible throughout most of the world. Australia, New Zealand and Hawaii are really going to get the best views. However, it will be visible from much of America and Southeast Asia as well. And lunar eclipses are really powerful times of releasing and letting go and making changes in your life where you know that you need to let go of something or when you know that you need to change something in your life, make that big change. So this lunar eclipse coming up on the 26th of May in Sagittarius is a really important time for us to assess our beliefs, exploring our long-held beliefs and perhaps realizing where these beliefs are holding us back from reaching our full potential, where these beliefs are keeping us stuck, where we're not open to new perspectives and when we're not feeling open to learning new things. So this full moon slash lunar eclipse in Sagittarius is really going to help you shift that energy to feel unstuck, to help you find more freedom as you release that stuff that's not aligned with the deeper meaning of your life. Sagittarius is all around that deeper meaning like your philosophy, your spirituality and finding the deeper meaning behind things in your life. So with this lunar eclipse, it's like what's unaligned with your life's philosophy? Like what's, what's been coming up in your life that just feels so unaligned? So this is going to be a really good opportunity for you to release that. So eclipses often comes in pairs or perhaps even three in a row. So for this eclipse season, we have the full moon slash lunar eclipse in Sagittarius on the 26th of May. And then we're going to have an annular solar eclipse on the uh, 9th of June or the 10th of June, depending where you are in the world. And this solar eclipse occurs in the sign of Gemini. So this solar eclipse, um, it will be visible in most of the Northern Hemisphere, particularly if you're in Canada or Russia or Greenland, like right up there near the Arctic, you're going to get the best view. However, you may be able to catch a glimpse of the eclipse elsewhere in Europe or the Northern part of America as well. So for you guys up there in the Northern Hemisphere, for most of you, it's going to be the 9th of June when the solar eclipse is happening. Uh, for those of you who are in the uh, uh, southern part of the world, like Australia, New Zealand, like I am, 
we're going to be missing out on the eclipse but for us it's occurring at our local time in, uh, on the 10th of June. So you can still absolutely work with that eclipse energy even if you're not able to see it like when it's happening you can still utilize that energy there's still this great shift of transformation that's happening no matter where you are in the world so how do you work with a solar eclipse how do you work with that energy so it's just really an amplification of the new moon energy so we know that new moons are all around setting new intentions so with a solar eclipse we can really manifest things quite fast when we have that strong intention and when we really lean in to what that eclipse energy is asking from us. So for the solar eclipse in Gemini, it's a time to be using your tools of communication and perhaps like your uh, networks, the connections that you have to help you manifest your intentions and your goals quicker. It's a time of collaboration. Gemini has this energy where we can reach out to others and get it done faster with the help of someone else. Like we don't have to do everything ourselves. So the solar eclipse in Gemini may help you discover where you can reach out, who you can reach out to, who you need to connect with, and you know during that time of the eclipse you may get a random phone call or someone might reach out to you like it just be so open and really dive into that energy and expect miracles to happen so we've covered lunar eclipses and how to work with this lunar eclipse energy coming up on the 26th of may and we've also covered solar eclipses that beautiful time for manifesting it those intentions like when you can really manifest things quickly and so we've talked a bit about what to expect for that solar eclipse happening on the 9th slash 10th of June so I hope that helps you tune in to the energy of eclipses just remember that eclipses are really just that magnification of either the full moon for lunar eclipses or a magnification of the new moon energy for solar eclipses. So still working with that energy, but it can be quite intense and it can provoke deep transformation if you're open to it. So I hope you have so much fun working with the eclipse energy. I'd love to know what comes up for you. Feel free to send me a message on Instagram or Facebook. I'm always so keen to hear about your adventures with working with the moon. If you'd like to know more about what's coming up for you personally with this eclipse season, if things are feeling turbulent in your life and you're not sure what you need to do next, feel free to reach out for a reading. I would love to dive into your astrology chart and maybe pull out the tarot cards to give you a bit more clarity and guidance around the direction that you need to take in your life especially during this highly transformative time of eclipse season. You'll find the link for bookings in the show notes below. Bye for now.